Hello and peace. My friends, my name is Chuck and I'm the book dweller and I'll tell you what, it's late Sunday evening. Sun's starting to go down. Beautiful night here in Cincinnati. But I went uh, book shopping this weekend and let's just say that May's book haul is going to be amazing. I've got two stacks right there already. <laughs> Holy cow, it's only the fifth. So anyway, uh, stick around for uh, May's haul at the end of May because it's going to be a good one. April's haul is kind of small. Uh, I got some paperbacks, one hardback, and one CD. The one CD will lead into my musical spotlight like I always do. Uh, earlier on, I was watching the Cincinnati Reds drinking beer out of my family guy glass that I got from the thrift store recently. It's a Stewie. It's Stewie there. I don't know if you can see that. So anyway, cheers to you. I hope you had a great weekend. <sighs> anyway... Uh, the first two books I have to show are anthologies, so let's get those out of the way. This first one is Fine Frights, Stories That Scare Me, edited and selected by Ramsey Campbell. Uh, we all like Ramsey Campbell. Uh, let's take a quick peek in here and see who's in here that we recognize. Uh, Carl Edward Wagner, one of my favorites. We'll do a spotlight on him. I've got some of his books. Um, oh, Philip K. Dick, I have some of his books too. Uh, there's quite a few in here that I don't know. So, John Bruner sci-fi. So, still, anything with Ramsey Campbell's name on it, you know I'm going to buy it. So, and this next one is Halloween Horrors, edited by Alan Ryan. Years ago, I had all the Alan Ryan books, and I got out of horror, and I got rid of them all. That was a bad mistake. So, just because you're not into something for a minute, <laughs> don't trade all your books in, because a couple years later, you'll be like, holy cow shit, I should have kept all those books. But anyway... Halloween Horrors, eh, it's kind of a rough copy, but who cares, with Alan Ryan's name on it. Listen to this line up here. Robert McCammon, Alan Ryan, Charles L. Grant, Whitley Strieber, Peter Tremaine, Steve Resnick Tim, Michael McDowell, is a favorite of people on this channels. Uh, Guy N. Smith, another favorite on this channels. Alan Ryan, of course, Greg Shaw Gardner, Bill Bronzini, that's, he's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Ramsey Campbell and Robert Block. What a star-studded lineup. So Halloween Horrors. Now, the second anthology. What a great find. All right, so let's get into uh, some of the other books. Here we go. The Vampire Tapestry by Susie McKee Charnas. That's, a little, that's an oldie. I've seen people show that one. I've seen people show most of these. Uh, been trying to, uh, reestablish my Robert McCammon. I'm reading The Night Boat right now. So, um, I found a couple of his yesterday at the library book sale here in Cincinnati. So, uh, we'll get to them next month. So, anyway, this is Bail. Great covers, as usual. Uh, The Night Boat I'm really enjoying. That's the first one I'm actually reading of his. So, I'm slowly but surely collecting them. I've got a bunch over here that you can't see. Next one is Robert Devereaux. I had some of his books a couple years ago, but I never read them. I trade them in with like a dumbass. <laughs> so I'm trying to recapture them. This is Caliban and other stories. There's a Poppy Z. Bright quote on top too. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to kind of getting back into him. I had his, those books and I never read them. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, here next we have a couple uh, by the same writer, William F. Nolan. This is Night Worlds. Um, William F. Nolan, probably most famously known for Logan's Run. But he was part of that uh, group. Richard Matheson. Charles Beaumont, who died earlier. Bradbury. Um, that whole L.A. scene uh, Bill Nolan was part of. Uh, as far as I know, William F. Nolan's still alive. I'd have to check on that. But it's kind of you don't really see his that much. And I do have a couple of his other ones over there, but I'll show them some other time. Uh, so it's so nice to see his see his name pop up on the bookshelf. You don't see him that often. And the second one I got of his is called Dark Universe. The universe is dark, even with all that glare in it. Jeez. So I, I've never seen this one either. Um, short story collection. He's kind of well known for short, short story collections. So, but there's a couple books. Um, here, this actually, the one I just showed you is a short story collection too. So, nice. I've got a slipcase 
hardback over there too, which I'll show. I'll show that some other time. So moving on, uh, I've seen this one pop up many times on the channels here. This is the Crooked Chi Tree, the Crooked Chi, the Crooked Tree, by Robert C. Wilson. A classic cover. I know I've seen multiple people, um, Leon the Paperback Maniac, showing this and some other folks. So it's kind of nice when you pop in a bookstore and you see some of these that you recognize from YouTube and uh, Instagram and whatever. So here's another one I've seen before too. This is Keeper of the Children by William M. Hallahan. Look at that classic, <laughs> classic cover. Another one I was so happy to find. I have noticed, though, just over the weekend, going to Half Price Books, they got to have somebody there who uh, has the paperbacks from Hell Book because some of these paperbacks you can find for a buck or two now or 10 or 15 bucks. So they're, they're kind of catching on. So here's another one I've seen recently, The Owl's Fane Horror by Duffy Stein. With the great setback art or pullback art, whatever you want to call it. Another one. Pretty cool. Um, here's a guy that I've heard a lot of people talk about. I have a few of his. Al Sarantonio. I actually have a couple of his westerns also. This is the toy box. So he, Al's actually making a, a little bit of a comeback too. So that's kind of nice. Um, I know that, hey, little thrifter Alex over there. Thank you for the shout outs last time. Alex, you're... If you don't, if you've never been on Hey Little Thrifter, you're you're a nutball because you got to get on her channel. She's the greatest of all time, and she's make makes us all very jealous. But don't tell her because she's probably shy about that. But I found one by Bernard Taylor, who's definitely making a comeback, and this is the Reaping. I thought that was step back art, but it's not. <laughs> so anyway, I've got uh, a couple of his up there, and his are I don't know why they're so hard to find in Cincinnati. But anyway, when I find them, I'm buying them. And uh, Leon the Paperback Maniac a while did his tribute to uh, John Shirley. There again, his book. I don't know why I can't find him in Cincinnati. But anyway, I found this novelization um, of this film called Constantine. And I haven't had time to look up what that is. But anyway, it's a novelization by John Shirley. So there again, anything with John Shirley's name on it, I'm going to pick up. And I also found this one called Borderlands Unconquered by John Shirley. I don't really know much about this. I remember Leon, the paperback maniac, talking about these. Uh, so there again, uh, the only other one I have by him is the, the butterfly one. So always on the lookout for those. And I've been trying to kind of collect some Bizarro novels on Eraserhead Press. And this is Hooray for Death by Michael Hansen. So, and those books are hard to find too. So I found this one uh, really cool. So I, I've got a couple of the Bizarro books. I haven't had a chance to look at them yet. And I was watching uh, someone's channel. Uh, I have a few sci-fi books, but I've been trying to be pretty picky about them. I have some Philip Jose Farmer and some A.E. Van Vogt. And there's a couple other ones over there. And then a guy was talking about Clifford D. C-Mac, or C-Mac, and he was saying how wonderful this book called City is. So, of course, I could never find it. But, lo and behold, check it out. City by Clifford D. C-Mac. So, this and Waystation are supposed to be his two best books. So, guess what? I found Waystation yesterday, but that'll be in the March or May uh, book haul. So, this is kind of one of those cool hardbacks, man. So, I was very happy to find this one. So anyway, that's all the books I found during April. I, I was uh, really busy. I didn't have a chance to go out much, but believe me, May's going to be better. And the only CD I bought was Computer World by one of my favorite bands of all time, Kraftwerk. Uh, German synth, I don't even know, it's not, not even synth. Uh, electronica, I don't even know how you, how you would categorize these guys. Krautrock would, would be one. Uh, they were around, I guess, around the time of, of Brian Eno stuff, but, uh, oh man, they've influenced every band, although, I mean, I listened to the latest orchestral maneuvers in the dark, and you can tell the influence of these. So, Kraftwerk, man, everybody copied them, or sounded like them, but anyway, this was one of my, I remember when this came out, I actually had it on cassette, and so I finally found it. So, I started digging, and I just have a couple, this is called The Mix by Kraftwerk. 
kind of a greatest hits with different mixes. Very cool. Um, radioactivity. So groundbreaking stuff from, I mean, God, they've been around since the early 70s. And um, this is the man machine. Uh, so if you get a chance, YouTube Craftwork. I mean, they have a whole catalog on YouTube. Very cool stuff. Very influential stuff. So um, that's it for now, everybody. It's Sunday night. I'm glad I sat down to do this before the weekend was over because it's a busy week. Um, I'll figure out something to do next week. Who knows? But I'll let everybody know. Uh, check me out on Instagram because I usually post a picture of something every day. Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thanks for liking, subscribing. I've had some comments, some great uh, conversations on my Instagram page, which is The Book Dweller. Um, thanks again, as always, to my wife, Betsy, who puts this stuff together for me. And I think that's it. I might be going to see the band Overkill, who I featured before. I'm doing a, a little poetry reading coming up this week, too, uh, as a tribute to a friend who passed. Um, I think that might be it. Anyway, check me out on Instagram. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.